everyone, it's Nikki DX Girly. Welcome to my fifth channel, DX Girly Likes PJDs, where I talk about my experiences with ball jointed dolls and some other dolls sometimes too. Today is a very exciting video. It's very out of the norm, as you can tell from the background of this video and my general location compared to the camera. Um, I am at my boyfriend's house. Uh, this is a gift. It's a box opening of a mini fee Rhea. I believe is how you say it, R-H-E-I-A. Um, she was a Christmas gift from my boyfriend and he wanted to watch me open her. So I brought her over to his house. Uh, today is January 26th, 26th uh, 2019. Uh, he ordered her back on November 17th. And she came in stock like two weeks ago or so, and he just paid her off the other day. So she came in the mail today, and I waited all day and didn't open her just so he could watch me open her. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but I always do videos for my dolls, so I wanted to record this. So forgive the unusual filming circumstances. <laughs> It won't happen often. It's not that I don't want her to <laughs> have more dolls. It's just that I, I probably only get one of these. <laughs> At least until I can convince her to move in. Okay. So, yeah, this came in from Denver Doll Emporium. Like, for a change, you guys can actually see the box in my box opening. Don't get used to it, because it won't happen in every video. <laughs> oh, this is a new Ooh. card. I haven't seen this one before. Uh, there we go. Forgive the glare. And then this, which I'll put over here. And addresses on it. Does this have... I think that's the order stuff. Oh, I know, but it just has like a weird seal on it. Is that new? Look at that. No. That's new. It is Denver Doll 25th Anniversary Centennial Collection. They usually don't put that thing on it. That's new. It's a sticker. Okay. So, have another green box. This is the, uh... We'll just say it's the seventh mini feed box I've gotten in because one of my mini feeds is an event head. If you follow me over on Instagram, you can see one of them. I shall be doing a wine and dolly soon so you can see all of my new dolls. But if you want a spoiler, go check out my Instagram link down here. Um, so I got another green box. This makes four green boxes, three purple. That's what it looks like. You've never seen a Fairyland box before. I like it. It's very, very nice. Yes, isn't it? It's like fabric. -y. Yeah, I was like, I was like, holy nice. crap! It's, it's actually, it's in. It's not just like printed. It's in actual embossment. Yeah, it's nice. It's beautiful. And then they always come with the little mini fee booklet. It has the insert for the motion line because I guess they haven't updated it yet, but. There's that, so that tells you maintenance and stuff. And then we have the Denver Doll Certificate of Authenticity and the Fairyland COA. What was the certificate number for uh, of this doll? Well, they're different ones because they give them two of them because mm -hmm. you bought it through Denver Doll. Um, so this is the order number through Denver Doll and then this is the actual serial number from the company. From the person that made it. Yeah. And then, so, here she is. Okay, she smells quite strongly of resin. You smell that? Sniff her. <laughs> okay, so, I got her, I got, I got to pick her out, so. 
Um, she told me she was really, really picky and that if I ever I bought her picky. a doll, I'd have to have her pick it up. So I was like, well, you can't be surprised. <laughs> but. <laughs> so I got her on the Moe line body. She's my second Moe line uh, mini fee. And I decided, because it's one of my goals to have all the different body types. And I didn't have one with the big porn star boobs yet, so we got her with the big old ones. I'm going to just go ahead and go silent at this point. <laughs> because if not, she's going to beat me. Um, so, yeah, she's on the Moe body. They come with the number three hands now. You can't pick them anymore. Um, and there's no leg types for the Moe body. But there she is. She's pretty... Rhea was not on my radar for a very long time, um, and then I kind of... What is this? What? Is that just a skull cap part? That's her head cap. Okay. We're going to do a little show and tell, because he doesn't know how a BJD works. So this comes off, mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. and those are how her eyes stay in. Through the putty. And yeah, and then Fairyland dolls have this little turnkey mechanism. Here's like this. Huh. And their heads come off. Proceed with Toy Story joke. <laughs> and so, the creepy Sid room. <laughs> but yeah, Rhea was not on my radar at all. And then I came across um, a picture of her under the mini fee hashtag that I follow on Instagram. And then I went over to her hashtag and just like kind of fell in love with her. She's one of the older style mini fees with the larger eyes. I like to say they look more, uh, the older style ones are more fairy like, fantasy like. I was going than to say the, elvish. The newer, like high fantasy. Yeah, the newer, the newer sculpts are more humanoid, but um, yeah, she's really so pretty. So old school D&D elf. <laughs> well, they had. Well, they actually eyes. have. Elf sculpts, like with elf ears. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, I did see the um, elf ears. They just, they just released one that's an elf vampire. Ooh. So she Male has, or female? She has, female. She has fangs and Ooh. ears. You know, I might end up one day actually buying one. For yes! <laughs> but it will be a male. There's plenty of boys to choose from. Because, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I only have one woman. <laughs> so and that's... as pretty as the doll is, Nikki's still prettier. <laughs> this is my mini Firea. I hope you enjoyed this super unconventional, not typical for my channel box opening. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you have never seen my videos before. I would love to have you here on my channel. And um, I will definitely be showing her face up in my next Wine and Dollies. I'm going to do her face up next week, as long as the humidity in Florida cooperates with me. It's been, it was really good this past week, though, and I got two face ups done, though. So I'm hoping I can do her face up and the little fee I got in my last video. Um, well, it's supposed to get really cold actually over the next couple of well, weeks. They, so I don't know if that's the would temperature doesn't have to anything to do. It's just the humidity here in Florida, at uh -huh. least. But um, so yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed this box opening. Thank you, baby. She's beautiful. beautiful. So yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!